Hi, welcome back to Pizza Aquatics, and today I just bought a planted aquarium um, and stuff to go in it, so I'll show you that and then let's set it up. So the tank I got is just a two and a half gallon tank. Um, it's all built in filtration light, 90 bucks, small tank, all that's going in it. There's this white beta right here, sorry the light's kind of blocking it. Um, it's a baby male beta, so they haven't had in a while. Got three plants for it right here, might take some from the axolotl tank, I don't know. Pretty sure it's planted substrate, it says seeded, so I'm guessing that means planted substrate, but just in case. I also bought this, which is um, supposed to help like flourish the plants when you first put them in, and I'm, it's like an additive. And then to, um, to build structure around, I just bought this lava rock, it'll help filter it, and I think it'll just look good sitting in the middle, um, and to plant around it. So I'm thinking I'm going to put the tank right where the triops used to be, so you have to move some top around. So let's go do that right now. All right, so I'm gonna open this up now, right here. So I'm just gonna pop open right here. It is the spec freshwater kit. Once again, I have the black version. Here's this details on the side, so I'm gonna pause that and read it. On the back right there, and then on that side right there. Um, there's like a five, a nine gallon one, and this size. I think there's also a five gallon one. I just got the small one. It's gonna be a beta fish, it's rimless. I've been wanting to do something really nice for a long time now, so yeah, that's why I got this tank. Uh, uh out here. Uh, it's kind of heavy, it's on side, but there it is. So I'm just using this. So for here, you can see that's a nice filter right there. It's got like carbon, uh, all those filtering things. I forgot what they're called. It says right here. Oops. So, foam, carbon, and biomax. Uh, that's the three stages of filtration in the tank. Uh, looks like we got the top in here, actually. Well, and this it looks like, I'm guessing, the light, I'm pretty sure. That goes across the top. It's a small square tank. Here's the light. Looks like it's a touch pad, I'm pretty sure. Nothing else in there. Got instructions. Um, this, I don't know what this is. The heater, that'd be nice. I'm trying to heat it. Oops. I'm trying to heat it for this thing. Nope. Okay, so this is a uh, plug in for the light. Um, here we have a little valve for like outtake. We'll probably stick it right in there. Maybe not actually, if it goes this far. Um, we'll see what this does. And then we have this thing that's taped up, which I do not know what this is going to be. Guessing it's gonna go down there. Um, so it's strong tape. Open this up. This is oh, this is the pump. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out how to put this all together, and I'll get back to you once it's oh, one second. Let me open up the top so you can see that. Um, it's not like a top; it kind of lays over. It's a clear top, I guess. So lays over that so it's still rimless you see the top a little bit but i'll get back to you when it's all set put together my bad all right so i just want to show you the filtration you just open this up yeah like a little marshmallows or toilet paper rolls this is the um it's called something but it's like the foam filtration basically is the same thing as this it's really porous and sucks up all the bad stuff and then this is your carbon filtration so i'm going to all this stuff off and put it into the tank so I finished with the filtration, you just pull it out like this. And we got this foam thing. You probably just have to rinse out every few months. And you probably have to replace this carbon right here and those little marshmallows. Again, they're not actually marshmallows. I just call them that because that's what they look like. Um, and then, so yeah, you just slide that in here. And then there's your filter. And that just slides all the way down to there. And your pump actually, you just attach this tube onto here. And then I'm gonna push it down into here. So this is facing outward so it can go through that hole. And then once it's through that hole, I put it in here on this thing, which is a uh, valve, so it's not just a straight stream of water. And then I can adjust the flow right there. So I'm put that in and I'll show you when that's done. So I got the filter in right now. It's just, just um, the water pump down there. And then you got the adjustable flow. So it intakes through here, goes through all the filtration, and then it gets pumped out back up through here. And then here is our light. You touch that to change it. It has a nighttime mode a daytime mode, and then it has a, um, 
uh, off mode, obviously. For that, you just slide it right into this thing right here, hold, and you just tighten this thing. And this basically on the inside pushes out. And it's like a little peg to hold it tightly in place, and it'll hold it tightly in place right there. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna put it where I want it, and then I will decorate it up there for you guys. You can see it's kind of raising right there. Oh, and first of all, let's just do this right now. Oh, shoot. I messed it up. No, I didn't. So this cover just slides. Oops, wrong way. Um, this cover is sliding right then. And it has the hole for the light and for feeding. And that's what it looks like. Nice and empty. Light goes down there, like that. And I think it looks really good right now. You just tap that, day, night, off, on. And so this is the tank right now. And I'm not gonna put the heat in here. I know betas don't need much heat at all because they're super hardy. They will like heat, but they don't absolutely need it. And my room temperature stays hot enough so that it won't be critical to them. It'll still be fine in their temperature range. And that plant's no need light. And also it's a small tank filter running and with a strong light on it. It'll probably heat up the tank enough already. Um, this is extra degree or two, so it's comfortable. Um, but I might add a heater in the future, I don't know. But it'll be fine with that one. So let's go put this on my dresser. So the picture on the box says to set up on its side like this. And I was thinking about it, but it looks like this. it's a little bit more viewing room. Um, but then I just thought the back's not clear. You see the cords. Um, and, you know, it would just be easier to escape it like this. Where you can see the center. It's got a black background. And it's just more level. And you can still look from both sides right there and there. So that's how I'm going to do it. Um, let's just show you the light real quick. So there's the light on day mode, night mode, and then off. I want to turn it off because I want to run the pump dry. But yeah, so let's put the sand in it and plant it and hardscape it, and it will be ready. So this is a 10 pound peg of black substrate. Apparently it sparkles and it's good for um, uh, it's planted aquariums. So that's what we'll be using. It's at about two inches on the bottom. So I'm gonna wash it right now. It's a, it's already triple washed, but it's just to wash it one more time, which I always wash my sand anyways. So it'll be washed four times. What you do for washing, you cut out the corner, you cut out the other corner, right there, and then you, oh, this is sand, um, my bad. But either way, this is kind of sand. So with gravel, you can just poke holes in the bottom, let water run through. With sand and fine gravel, you can, Cut two holes in the sides, so both of one side, and let it um, filter out this side. Once the water is clear on the sides overflowing in, that you know it's washed. So I'm gonna do that right now, and I'll be right back. So I did take the light off for this, but I kind of sloped it upwards uh, and put a little base right there, and then had it go down and have a little base on the bottom. A little bit of water so you can't see it, but the bottom's like an inch or two thick, and the back's a few inches thick. So yeah, let's get into hardscape and planting, and then I'll show you when, once I'm done with that. All right, so I just kind of plop the rock into how I like it. So just like a little bit of shape on this side. It's flat on the other side, so we're going to hit those. But so it's the rock, and I'm trying to put in these three plants and then some plants from my other tanks, and we'll be ready. So I planted it, and now I'm starting to fill it up, as you can see. I got all the plants in there, the red one, the two uh, other ones. And then I got two from the x -Lyle tank up front there that you'll see better once it's done. Um, so I'm going to keep pouring the water in, and I'll get back to you when it's filled. So here's the tank all planted. We got the rock. The two plants up front, three plants in the back. So I might want to get more red plants for this for the future because it's very green right now. But right now I'm just drip acclimating, not drip acclimating, but uh, acclimating my fish. Oops. One thing, um, quick start. I need to put that in the tank. So quick start's the tank. So this will instantly cycle it. Um, but first, let me show you. Get the light on. So it looks great. A little foggy right now, so floating around. I'll clear up in a bit. Um, a flow right there at the top. Um, I'm gonna have to put that down a little bit. Um, so that sucks. I'm gonna have to go all the way down to the bottom again. But we'll figure it out. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'll acclimate my fish and I'll put this stuff in and I'll show you out, show you when I'm releasing the fish. So this is a plant fertilizer. I just opened it and said one of these capfuls, which is what's five milliliters for 60 gallons, so this will last me a long time. Even if you do have to do it once or twice a week, I like need not even a drop of this stuff. Um, so I'll just like a drop of this basically once a week 
and my plant should be fine. So, yeah. All right, so I'm pretty sure a beta fish is fully acclimated, water temperature are the same. It's been about 10 minutes of adding water to it. So there is a white male, it's a white opal male. Going into this awesome tank with the three, two modes, night mode, and then off. So there's a three modes again. Night mode looks kind of cool, but I'm just gonna scoop them out now. I actually need to get my hands wet. So I'll just dump my hand in the axle I'll tank real quickly. My hands wet, so it's starting with a slime coat. And then I'm just gonna come in here and scoop them up. It's panicking. Oops. All right, so now my hand right there, beautiful fish. Never mind, keep getting away. I don't want to dump the water in just because it's not good to dump warm water into your tank. So let's go ahead and, okay. Uh, I'll get to you when I have this guy. All right, I have him in my hand right here. I'm just gonna, there he is. Let him pop in there. There is our new beta fish. Looks great in there. It should clear up still, but he pops a lot, so you, you can see him. Um, and I think this turned out great. So, yeah, there's our beta fish. This will clear up. I'll update you guys on them in future videos. And that's what he, one second. That's what he looks like in night mode. Really cool in person. The camera doesn't really show it. And with it off, he looks good still. I'm probably just gonna um, turn off the camera now. It's because my phone battery is low. So, yeah. So I'll update you guys in future videos. It's a bit later, but I forgot to mention the triops. They didn't really work out too well. They hatched and everything, but they were just kind of hard to maintain and keep up. So I ended up just putting like the three that were alive. They were very tiny into here, so they're probably alive in here. Maybe they got eaten. I don't know, but long story short, they're not here anymore. They might be, but they're probably not. So that's what happened with those guys. Forgot to mention that in the last video too. So we got a new planted aquarium with our little beta fish. Um, so thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.